if you are interested in learning how to go from I know nothing at all to, hey, I actually created something using augmented reality, then this is a great channel for you. This first episode, the plan is to buy some over, which is the cryptocurrency of the over app. I do own some cryptocurrency, but I'm still super foggy on the difference between a MetaMask and a wallet. And um, I think I'd say I'm an advanced beginner, but I'm not definitely not an expert. And I will share with you everything that I know already. And more importantly, you will get to witness me learning the things. So if that's interesting to you, please stay tuned. When I tell you that I started from the absolute beginning, I truly mean it. So with very few preconceived notions involved, I just typed in OVR.ai, which luckily was the correct website. The first thing I found myself doing was just clicking around. Buying OVR is definitely the goal, as we said which took us to the public sale website. And I had to look up what an IBCO is, which turns out to be a term used for exchanges uh, in general. I learned that we would need to have a account. And I just did that by connecting my MetaMask wallet rather than just creating an account using these fields here. Um, but that's definitely an option. Logged in, I was brought to this screen and had to begin a verification process. Watching this screen recording, it's already so cringy because I'm obviously lost. I don't know at this point what any of this means. There's OVR BSC, OVR Polygon, OVR Overmanaged. All of those things are the same currency on different blockchains, but I didn't know that. I just started in with profile pairing because that seemed to be the door to move forward. I got redirected to this some sub application to do the verification process. And this was kind of fun. I, you know, I was unfamiliar with any of these uh, tasks. And it felt like a fun way to use what seemed to me to be very advanced technology where we can toggle between my phone and the uh, and the web browser that's open on my laptop. I even had, you know, two different web servers open. So I've got, I was using Brave here on my computer and Safari. I just kept clicking the whatever button seemed to take me through the next step and found the whole process to be super straightforward, super easy, other than some waiting for certain things to load. It was, it was a breeze. There was a fun part that happened on my phone where I had to put my face in this circle and move it around so they're verifying your face from different angles, which was just rad and interesting to me. Waiting, waiting. After following all the steps and Waiting through all the spinning circles, I was brought to the ver like you are verified page. 
From here, it continued to be very Alice in Wonderland. You know, I've fallen down this rabbit hole and I truly am just poking at whatever door seems to open in order to be able to move forward. You know, I click the buy the OVR button and accept terms and conditions that, you know, is typically the next move. Uh, you know, clearly I didn't actually <laughs> read them uh, based on this screen recording. Um, this is the first time I saw the word day. I find the progress bar across the bottom. Good job over. Like we need that. Passing the allowance transaction is the clear next step. So I've got to figure out how to do that. What does this button do? Remember like Dexter's lab, like ooh, 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 ooh. what does this button do? But before I pass that allowance transaction of day, I wanted to figure out what it was. So I did some light Googling, essentially. Um, you know, read the top statements about it and also, you know, did some exploration on, you know, what it is, how it's made and how stable it is. And after looking at a five-year version of this market, I decided that this wasn't something shady. And although nothing in the crypto world is safe or secure, I at least felt confident that this wasn't some sort of scam. <sighs> So I went over to Coinbase, which is where I know how to buy cryptocurrency, and then had to look out, <laughs> look up how to get the <laughs> Coinbase money into the MetaMask, because MetaMask is what I had connected to over. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yes, I did have to wait <laughs> it took a while to transfer everything over get it to the right place and i did lose some money in the process from all the transfer fees is that what's supposed to happen i'm not i don't know i'm not sure right about then i feel really stupid because i've been doing all of these steps to be able to use this ibco when Look, there are other ways. I was just on the first tab of many. <sighs> really should have scrolled up. Make matters worse, once I got my day from Coinbase to become accessible in the MetaMask wallet, I discover that the IBCO is not something I can use in the US. I don't have legal permission to do that. Not available in your country. With IBCO out of the list of options, I went to the logical next step, Uniswap. Here, it was easy to intuit importing this token. I'm literally just pushing buttons here. Um, and found that day can go directly to over. And, you know, great, it goes straight from the MetaMask, but now I'm seeing that I could have, I had could have gone straight from Coinbase to here. So I didn't need to pay the transfer fees of getting it from Coinbase to MetaMask. That was so dumb, um, but, you know, let's do it. All right, so I've got day to over. Uh, what happens next? I hit max for the amount. It automatically populates and tells me how, what over I would get. So that's my maximum amount of day, which would convert to 25.24 over. Um, I did pretty quickly choose the allow Uniswap protocol to use your day. After playing around all of 
with all of this, due to gas fees, I wasn't going to be able to make this process work. That just wasn't going to be an option. I also tried the BCS bridge and the Polygon bridge, but neither of those seemed to be able to yield over as a has a currency of its own. Um, so then I tried Pancake. Pancake showed the ability to convert directly into over, but the problem was with Pancake was I had to start with a currency that I did not have. I bought Day. It told me to buy Day, so I bought Day. And Day is not on this list. So, I mean, I went back and forth and cross-referenced a whole bunch of things and, you know, looked into the different currencies and actually chose to convert some Cardano I had tucked away in Coinbase to ETH because ETH is something we all know and trust and can be used for all kinds of stuff. Um, and Pancake was going to accept ETH. So, so that's what I did. I, I converted some moolah uh, into ETH with the idea that PancakeSwap would allow me to convert it to over. However, surprise, surprise, PancakeSwap wants gas fees too. <laughs> I felt so dumb. Uh, so I called my friend Drew and Drew was like, you're dumb, just use Uniswap. And I was like, but maybe PancakeSwap uses a different uh, protocol and then it's going to have, you know, it's going to be cheaper. And uh, basically he was like, be careful. He kept saying to be careful. There was one more option I hadn't tried yet, and that was the credit card option. I mean, after all of this, did I really expect that they would just allow me to just buy over with a credit card? Why did I try this last? No one will ever know. So what happened when I got to the credit card screen, it showed like a really reasonable percentage of the fee, but it rerouted me to a place called Indicoin, which said that BTC was the only currency available. But even then, I couldn't change the unit from USD to BTC or any other currency for that matter. It only showed me USD to USD. So again, Switching to over wasn't an, even an option on that list. In conclusion, all I had to do to buy over was to look at Uniswap, see which currencies it accepted, buy that currency with either Coinbase or whatever wallet exchange you use, and then convert it catch was, you know, have enough E to pay for the gas fees. It's not going to be cheap. If I just don't expect it to be cheap, it's fine. Thank you for watching till the end. Um, overall, I think that the process is easy with an asterisk, um, easy when compared to buying any other cryptocurrency. Um, and even if we were to compare it to something that's not crypto, like if I was sitting at my desk here and decided, oh, I want to buy some British pounds, I wouldn't immediately know how to do that, how to find, like how to buy that, how to get it into my bank account in a way that I can use. Um, so I would have had to go through something similar, even if the currency wasn't crypto. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any feedback, I would love, love, love to hear from you. Please comment below what, uh, if I got anything wrong, if suggestions to others who are watching this, you know, maybe there was an easier way to do something that I did. So um, I hope that the chat 
below will be used as a resource for folks who are interested. Shout out to Cheryl Spangler, who also creates a lot of great content about Over. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, between the two of us, you'll, you'll be able to get all the information you need.